it'll get hot a little bit and your edges might start, you know, remixing on you. Let's be honest, is it ripping out your edges or did you not have edges in the first place? Gentrification is just messing in my video right now. You know that I cut off them racks, you know that that's facts. You will get jacked, get hit yeah. with that Mac, knock off your hat. You was a rat, take all your stacks. Young nigga came from the bottom. Came from the bottom. Shout out to Louis and Prada. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you why your edges don't, don't be on fleek, why they don't stay down. I have four good reasons and four solutions. So, if you want to know, just keep watching this video. <laughs> Number one, you don't use a satin or silk scarf after putting your edge control on. Most of you probably use like Eco Styler or a gel where water is the first ingredient. Water reverts hair. Yes, it has other ingredients that might over like power the water, but it still has water. So the point of the scarf is to hold the, the hair in place while it dries, basically. That's what I feel like. So you, you also want to put the scarf on for a good amount of time. I like to leave it on for like 10 to like 30 minutes. Like I'll do it, my edges in the morning and I'll like wear my scarf, drive to um, whatever, wherever I have to go and then take it off. Tip number two. So the second one is that you rely only on one gel or one edge control. Can't do that. If your hair is really difficult to lay down, you might want to think about using two different gels um, or edge controls. So a lot of people know about like got to be glued and they use it for like wigs and stuff like that. And you know, I guess it's a more intense like edge control. So something that people um, say that this does, this rips out my edges and gentrification is just messing in my video right now. But anyway, so people think that the, this rips out their edges. Let's be honest, is it ripping out your edges or did you not have edges in the first place? Listen, sweetie, like, let's be real. I don't see how edge control can rip out your edges unless you're not taking care of your edges. Um, and sure, maybe if you use just this alone, no type of moisturizer, no type of follow-up, sure, it might rip out your edges. So. If you see how I'm doing my edges here, I put on my Eco Styler gel first, and then you will see later that I'm going to put Got To Be Glue gel right on top. And I don't necessarily just comb it in as you would with the Eco Styler gel, because Eco Styler gel is more gentle and um, you know soft, and obviously won't work out your edges, quote unquote, as some people may think um, that Got To Be Glue does, but. I literally just lay it flat on top and that helps because I'm not about to walk out the house and my edges do the remix. You know what I mean? If it's summertime, if you know you're gonna like sweat a little bit, like it's not, you're not about to catch me. Tip number three, you think that your hair will flake if you use those two products or your hair flakes when you do use gel. And some people just have um, hair that like gel reacts that way, it flakes. It's an easy fix. Now, let me show you. So now once you got the, the scarf on, you're ready to take it off. All of a sudden you take it off and boom, it's white. And you're like, damn. So maybe you try to fix it with water or whatever, or like try to rub it away. Or you literally just go outside because you're like, uh, whatever. I don't know how to get rid of this. If I try to fix it, it'll get worse. So what you do is literally take your oil the oil that you already have in your hair, in your hair, whatever oil you use that day or whatever oil you have laying around, and put it right on top of your edges. That will make the um, white flaky looking things disappear. That's a trick that I learned when I when I started using the got to be glued. That's when I use it if I know I'm gonna like do physical activity or like sweat and I don't like or like go to the party and like you know it, it'll get hot a little bit and your edges might start you know, remixing on you. Um, and it don't even be like, like a cute remix. It'd be the R. Kelly, like 
different. Like you're gonna look different once you come off the club. All right, last one. If you have type 4B or 4C hair. Now we all know that it's a lie, that you can't get baby hairs or edges on fleek, blah, 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 if your hair is really curly. No, you literally just have to take extra measures, which you're probably already used to having really curly hair, and you can, you can have the edges that you want. Literally everything that I just told you before, number four, is going to help you realize that despite how curly your hair is, your edges will be on fleek. And you can thank me for that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and like share it with your friends. Like, I mean, you can send it to them, but give them a disclaimer that you're not trying to throw shade because the title might be, you know, I'm misleading. They might chat, they might think you're coming for their, their edges. Um, but you know, you're not. You're just trying to, you know, help a sister out. Like, so anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Never gon' fall, never not gon' ball, and I keep my nigga bustin' like a Draco. He always come back, big Draco. Still going bad, don't you stank, ho?